Hi, my name is Christian Waldegrave, Market Analyst at TK, and I'm here to give an update on the LNG shipping market. The LNG shipping market continues to be very strong, and in the first part of this year we've seen short and spot LNG shipping rates at around $140,000 to $150,000 per day. And that's really due, due to strong demand from countries such as Japan and China, uh, combined with very low fleet growth during the course of this year. In fact, in Japan, what we've seen in the early part of this year is that all of Japan's nuclear power plants are now offline, uh, and that's an after effect of the earthquake from March 2011 when they started to take all the plants offline for maintenance, uh, and they haven't brought those back online, uh, and they won't do so until those plants um, pass a stress test to prove that they could withstand a similar earthquake and tsunami type event, and they also need local government uh, and central government approval as well to restart those plants. So in the meantime, Japan is having to rely very heavily on LNG imports for power generation, and that's supporting demand for LNG shipping. What we've also seen in the last couple of months is that uh, the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission has given approval for Shenyar Energy's Sabine Pass terminal in Louisiana to export LNG. They finally got that license, uh, and they're now just looking to sort out the financing before they take final investment decision, but we believe that will happen in the next few months. And that means that from 2015 to, or 2016, um, the U.S. will start exporting LNG out of that Gulf Coast, which is going to change the dynamics of LNG shipping and create some longer-haul trades, which can, it is going to boost LNG shipping demand. If we look at what's been happening on the ordering side in the last few months, we continue to see some LNG orders being placed, and there are now 73 LNG carriers on order, which is about 20% of the size of the existing fleet. And as those ships deliver in 2013 and 2014, we think that might have a bit of a dampening effect on LNG shipping rates uh, because the ships get delivered before the bulk of the LNG liquefaction projects come online. Uh, however, from 2015 onwards, we believe that demand for LNG shipping is going to rise substantially uh, because that's when a lot of the main export projects from Australia, uh, from Africa, and as we've said, now from the United States as well, are going to start emerging. And that's going to cr create massive demand for LNG shipping, much more than is currently on order. So we're very positive on the long-term outlook for LNG shipping. So that wraps up our outlook for the LNG shipping market, and we'll speak to you again next quarter.